Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, nurse. I've come in answer to your advert on the wall next to the Eagle Laundry in Pelham Road. An advert? Pelham Road? Yes, your poster. You must have seen it. There's a nurse pointing at you, a Red Cross lady, actually, I believe, with a moustache and a beard. Hmm? <laughs> well, a pencil in, of course. You must know it. It's one of yours. It's next to Chamberlain Must Go, just above the cricket stumps. It says your blood can save a life. Oh, I see. You wish to become a blood donor. I certainly do. I've been thinking about this for a long time. No man is an island, young lady. To do one unselfish act with no thought of profit or gain is the duty of every human being. Something for the benefit of the country as a whole. What should it be, I thought? Become a blood donor or join the young conservatives? <laughs> But as I'm not looking for a wife and I can't play table tennis, here I am. <laughs> a body full of good British blood and raring to go. Yes, quite. Well, now, would you sit down and I'll just take a few particulars. May I have your name? Yes, uh, Hancock, Anthony Hancock. Twice candidate for the county council elections, defeated. <laughs> Honsec, British Legion, Earl's Court branch, treasurer of the darts team and the outings committee. Yes, I, I only want the Yeah, well, name. we're going to market this year by boat if there's any young nurses like yourself. <laughs> Any young nurses like yourself would care to join us, we'd be more than happy to accommodate you. No funny business, you know. Yes, I mean, it'll be up, up and up. I'll bear it in mind. Yes. Now, uh, date of birth? Uh, yes. Yes, shall we say the uh, 12th of May, 19... Uh, I always remember the 12th of May. <laughs> it's Coronation Day, you know, 1936. You're only 25. No, 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 the coronation was in 1936. I... <laughs> I was born a little before that in 19... Uh, is all this really necessary? Yes. Yes, I'm afraid so. The 12th of May. Yes, I always remember that. The coronation. We all got a day off at our school, did you? Oh. And we got a cup and a saucer in a box and a pile of soap. Very good. I've still got that. And a spoon for the Silver Jubilee and a biscuit tin with their pictures on. How old are you? 35. Thank you. <laughs> Nationality? Ah, you've got nothing to worry about there. <laughs> It's blood you're thinking about, isn't it? British, British, undiluted for 12 generations. 100% Anglo-Saxon with perhaps just a dash of Viking. But nothing else has crept in. Now, anybody who gets any of this will have nothing to complain about. There's aristocracy in there, you know. You want to watch who you're giving it to. It's like motor oil, it doesn't mix, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Mr. Hancock, when a blood transfusion is being given, the family background is of no consequence. Oh, come now. Surely you don't expect me to believe that. I mean, after all, East is East, and really. And blood is blood, Mr. Hancock, the world over. It is classified by groups and not by accidents of birth. I did not come here for a lecture on communism, young lady. <laughs> I happen to be a conservative. Then kindly behave like one, madam. Have you had any of the diseases on this list? Show me. How dare you? <laughs> no, I have not. And especially that one. <laughs> I've told you before, you've nothing to fear from me. I am perfectly healthy. Fit! Fit! If we'd had our own rocket, I'd have been the first one up there. I had me named down for the blue street, but no, we missed our chance again. It's not right having these foreigners hurtling round up there. You mark my words. Blood, I... Mr. Hancock, blood. Mm? Yes, ah, yes. I beg your pardon, I do get carried away over things like that. It's a sore point with me. Are we ready now, then? Well, there is just one more thing. Have you given any blood before? Given no. Spilt, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, there's a good few drops lying about on the battlefields of Europe. Are you familiar with the Ardennes? I well remember von Rundstedt's last push. Tiger Harrison and myself being in a forward position were cut off behind the enemy lines. <laughs> Captain Harrison, I said. Yes, sir, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's overlooked us, I said. Where shall we head for? Berlin, he said. Right, I said. Last one in the rice tags, a sissy. So we set off. <laughs> we got there three days before the Russians. You've I'm never go been the a vodka. blood donor before? No. Yes. Well, so, there we were, surrounded by stormtroopers. Oh. Camarade, camarade, they said. If you'll just sit over there with the others, Doctor will call you when he's ready. Oh, thank you. Over here? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a grand job we're all doing. <laughs> yes, I think we can all be proud of ourselves. Some people, all they do is take, take, take out of life and never put anything back. But that is not my way of living and never has been. Never has been. 
You're only entitled to take out of life what you were prepared to put into it. <laughs> Do we get a badge for doing this? No, I don't think so. Pity, we should have something for people to pick us out by. It's not really important, is it? As long as we give the blood and help someone, that's the main thing. Oh, well, quite, quite. I mean, as long as they get their corpuscles, quite, quite. <laughs> it's reward in itself, I agree. No names, no pack drill. Quite, quite. I just think we ought to get a badge as well. I mean, <laughs> I mean nothing grand. A little enameled thing, a little motto, that's all. Nothing pretentious, something like... He gave it for others so that others may live. <laughs> you know, I mean, we are do-gooders. We should get something for it. What do you want, money? Don't be vulgar. <laughs> I am a great believer in charity. Help others, that's my motto. I contribute to every flag day that's going. The lapels of my suits are always the first thing to go. <laughs> Covered in holes, they are. Yes, I always give what I can. Have a look at this. It's all in my diary. Congo Relief. Two and six. Self-denial week, one and eight. <laughs> Lifeboat day, sixpence. Arab refugees, one and two. Yes, it's all down here. Yes, yes, I, I do what I can. My conscience is clear. And when I'm finally called by the great architect and he says, what did you do? I shall just bring me book out and I shall say, here you are, mate. Add that lot up. <laughs> Yes, I mean, I've got nothing to fear. No, I could go tomorrow. Yes, let's see, October 1961, gave blood for the needy. Ooh, well, how much do you reckon that's worth? Three quid? Just to get the book straight, you know. Just for my own benefit, I'm not trying to put a price on it. Do you come here often? This is my twelfth time. There's no need to boast about it, old man. <laughs> How much did you give to the Arab refugees? Oh, really? Oh, come on, come on, how much? Go on, you're shouting about how much blood you've given. How much did you give to the Arab refugees? If you must know, I gave five pounds. <laughs> oh, well, some people are better placed than others. I'm... <laughs> I would have given more, but I've got commitments. I can't afford to go around chucking five...